Looks like we're at the dentist at the moment. You're busy filling out a cavity. Uh, just explain what you're doing. Uh, well, this is new bearings which were hung to fit to the dagger bolts. And basically this has come from the machine shop, engineer shop, uh, and they don't quite fit the profile of the dagger board. So I'm easing it where it needs to so it can run up and down the full board without it jamming and sticking. Because obviously they want them to go flying down, especially if you're doing an inshore. The quicker and easier it goes down, the better. So that's uh, why I'm doing this. And what uh, what kind of material is this? Uh, are the bearings made of? Uh, it's a material called Ertolite. That's what we're using on uh, this particular boat. I mean, as I said, um, depending on which boat you're on, a different designers and engineers will say another kind of material. But in this one, it's Ertolite, which is a, a nylon material. It's very it's hard but very brittle, so you have to be careful. The problem with it is if you drop the boards down and you don't have door stops like they have on the dagger board, it could quite easily crack them, so you have to have some way of controlling it and making sure that you, you don't damage them unnecessarily. We're chatting to Tim Dean, uh, project manager and uh, shore manager for Team Russia. Uh, Tim, we've been uh, watching Billy and the guys working on some of the daggerboard repairs. Uh, could you tell us what uh, what else is on the job list? Uh, the big one for us is really the, the daggerboards because they have to be good. So the repairs, even though they're very small, take a long time um, just to tickle them up and get them absolutely right, and to make sure they actually run in the bearings because uh, we. The biggest feedback we get from the boat, obviously, is if they can't raise and lower the dagger balls exactly when they want, they get grump very grumpy. So um, that's probably the big one. The other bits and pieces we've got on the boat, relatively small. As ever, as the boat goes through the race, it, it kind of progresses and grows, and little things need changing. Uh, we've got a bunk that we're moving very slightly. We're putting an extra pad eye on the foredeck for another sail to fly in a slightly different position. And then just looking forward to the lake to Singapore and then to China. Again, uh, uncharted territory for most of these guys uh, and, and, and you as well. So how do you, how do you foresee the next two lakes going? This next one's going to be really interesting. Um, the sort of conditions that, that we had and fell into in the last two days of no wind, we're going to be sailing in conditions like that just about all the way up to Singapore. So this could turn into a very interesting lake, even potentially boats arriving at day and a half late from what's expected, so Christmas Day, Boxing Day, who knows. Um, China will be another interesting one, but uh, we'll see what that one brings really. This, this next one's going to be an interesting one, Straits and the Lucker and all the rest of it.